with the Artist Report here with Quinn Allman and Ryan Muirhead, two awesome artists, um, different calibers of art. Um, but yeah, we're just going to be talking about uh, what they're doing, what they're up to. So, um, Quinn, could you introduce yourself and just sort of what you're doing? Yeah, uh, my name's Quinn Allman. I play guitar with the Used, and I've been in the band since the beginning. So it's been about 12 years, and uh, we started out in Utah, in Provo, Utah. Where I was born. Where Ryan's from. And um, we've, uh, I think this is our sixth studio album. I think we have eight albums now. I can't, I'm kind of starting to lose track, but uh, we're here in the Palladium in Los Angeles with Taking Back Sunday. And um, yeah, it's yeah. a really nice day and glad to be here with Ryan. Glad to be here with you. Yeah. Um, yeah, Ryan and I, uh, Ryan and the band have a sort of a very unique, un a unique relationship, which is, uh, you know, it's really special to me and to all of us. But um, yeah, it's it's an honor to be here with Ryan and yeah. Could you? Yeah, that's a lot of like what this interview is going to be about is really just that idea of, of how does a photographer play a role with a band and really because you can't you're not just going to have any Yahoo show up and go on tour with you guys but you know that element of just really being able to capture the essence of who you guys really are and what you're wanting to portray and obviously someone who just does that naturally but how does how does that sort of play out with a photographer and a band? Um. Ryan really illuminated that whole concept for me. I, I had sort of, in the past, it was kind of like the manager or the management was going to find a great photographer to come in and do their thing. And, and uh, when, I, when I met Ryan and when we started to talk about things, we were instantly, I mean, he came up to my house and we just instantly connected on so many levels. And uh, I felt like, um, I, I just had this intu intuition that Ryan was, uh, you know, when he said that he loved the band and he loved the music, it was different. It wasn't just like, you know, it was it was this very, very pure and special thing. And as we got to know each other more, it was just deeper and deeper and deeper. And he, he, he helped me to understand things about the band that I was completely unaware of being so far on, in, uh, on the inside of it. So to hear his, his you know, his experience and, um, what he's gone through and where our music has played a role in his life and his art. It's so inspiring to me. And so having, and, and what I notice is Ryan has a way of, I guess the essence of the band is sort of, is, is there with Ryan in a way that might've rubbed off on me or that has, has kind of left me. Um, it's, it's, that, it's that initial kind of reaction that Ryan has with, I think with most of his photographs, he, he really brings out something that it's either, I feel like they're just really important photographs, um, really important moments, really important. Um, and so, I don't know, I think that that kind of ties in with our music too, as far as like the vulnerability of the songs and the lyrics and the, the hope and the, the angst and, and all these, you know, all these kind of weird chemicals that work together. And Ryan is just an amazing person at translating that into into his work. It's almost like what I make and, and what I feel like I want to make with musically important music, Ryan does the same thing with his art and it's inspiring to me and, and I love having it, him out here because it just it just locks together so well. That's the long-winded version but I just love this guy really. It's it's kind of amazing how much it's weird to tell you. It's like weird, like weird to just tell you but it's it's amazing how much like serendipity there is in that because it's not just like it wasn't just like oh yeah I really liked this band or I really liked a couple bands and then I became a photographer and now I like working with artists like it's so much more personal than that to me because most of my like inspiration for my images literally comes from songs like songs that put me in a space that where I feel something and you know that's like the music everybody loves or the songs that like take them back to a place or make them feel that stuff or you know stuff that you're either embarrassed or ashamed to like just sit there and feel the songs that like force you into that that's the stuff people to connect with and I'm I don't like a ton of different bands I'm not like really musically adventurous like all this music inspires me it's just like four or five people and I mean the first used album was like pivotal into me wanting to be something different than what I was and putting me 
you know, one day I was doing this and the next day I was doing that. It was huge for me in even wanting to be an artist. And I didn't even know what kind or in what capacity, but like Quinn's music like made me want to do it. And to now be doing it and be working with them, like it's too much. You know, it sounds like a cool story, but then when I sit with it, it's like, it's, it's a mixture of like luck and work and destiny and good people is what it feels like. It's pretty amazing for me. Oh, yeah. and, and it like, uh, obviously the passion, <clears throat> the passion behind that comes across in the photo. Like you, you see, granted you guys are a slightly passionate band, you know, so documenting that comes across, but just like the intimacy of just even his Instagram feed, of just those photos that you're seeing, you know, it's like, it's crazy that I, I feel like the trust that comes across in the subject to the photographer um, yeah I guess Ryan what's what do you feel like your experience is with just like getting to know them but then getting to that level that I don't know I can only say like serendipity so many times but it was just amazing how things just worked out like when I needed them to because all my favorite photos, they're never like the band moments. Like, I don't even know if I've like done like a band photo yet. We did like a Polaroid of you guys like standing together a couple of times, but none of the photos that I know I'm gonna, oh, I like put my hand on my microphone. None of the photos that I know I'm gonna really, really care about like 10 years from now, none of them are like performance shots or like you guys looking cool. It's like you at home with like Megan, like sitting on the couch or like, you know, just standing in the parking lot or right after a show or right before, like all those moments where it's not like there should be a photo of this. Those are all the photos I want. Just real stuff. Just how it was to be there as opposed to the coolest moments to make a photo out of. So, and like for me, looking back, like old Annie Lewitz of like her tours with Rolling Stones, it was like, Keith Richards passed out yeah. on the chair with his shirt off and pants undone. Yeah. You know, it's like those like real moments that were just like a band that's torn up and doing it, you know. Um, and it's it's a really neat, um, just ex like getting to see that come across. Yeah. And it's also funny to like, un, you know, to like devalue whatever, but like the friendships are more important to me than the photos. Yeah. Like, you know, it means more to me to just be hanging out and driving around in a bus and watching movies and getting dinner than it does to have the chance to shoot <laughs> a lot more, yeah. you know, and just to be like, there's so much to soak up. I mean, it's just like, there's just the special relationship that, I mean, I, I feel like Ryan is, uh, you know, he's, I have a very strange uh, sense of humor, I have to say. Like, I, I, I feel like I don't even really know what it is, but it just comes out and I think I, I comment on what's going on and I, I, you know, I can be, you know, I can say the most terrible things, uh, you know, at, at the wrong time on purpose, you know, and, but I, I feel like I genuinely have a place of love and understanding for, all, for, for almost everything and, and people and stuff and, and same with Ryan. So it's like, I don't feel afraid to let myself go. And I don't feel, I, I honestly forget that Ryan's taken photographs. I don't, I just, I, I, I don't even like to think that he's taking photographs because um, I don't know what that means, but I just, I, he's, he makes me feel so comfortable. And uh, I think, you know, like you said, those are the best things anyway. I mean, the friendships and, and you know, the photographs that show that um, it's not a formality. It's not like this thing to be in a band, it's, it's actually a bunch of people and friends and it's those small moments that really add up. That, that's by far been the biggest like takeaway for me is that at any level of anything, of just starting out, of being successful, of just starting to be successful at having been successful for a long time, it's just people and human experiences and stuff you love and stuff you're afraid of and stuff you're working on and stuff that's working and stuff that's not working. Like, it's just that. And to stop trying to like win, stop yeah. trying to like beat it and like accomplish it and be like, I did this or we did this or you sold this many or I got this many likes or this photo went this far. It's like, it's like you can't win. So just like slow down and be where you are in the good stuff or the bad stuff and just like be having the experience and be thankful for the stuff that's awesome about it. Like stop trying to like win. 
I think that's why your your stuff comes across. I think you're able to make everyone comfortable and everyone that's at that point and whether or not you can define success if, if you're asking me what success is it's to appreciate the process not the outcome it's just appreciating the process and yeah, yeah. that's what i mean <laughs> exactly that i'm more happy to be here than i am to be here taking photos love it um well we're gonna go a little bit more deep with you in a bit um quinn can i just talk to you a little bit um just hearing obviously you've been in the band for 12 years how has that Obviously, it's a lot of time to change, but like change sort of where you are now. Because I, I know a lot of bands, as you mature, you know, obviously your music and sound sometimes matures. Um, where do you guys feel like you are with this new album? That's when's the new album come out? April, April first. So real soon. Yeah, Brad. Um, where do I feel like it's kind of matured and stuff? Yeah, just, sense, just in a sense, you as a musician, you as an artist, you as a band. Like, mostly, like you, and then as the band as a whole. I feel like I mean, when I very first was started, I. I was really influenced by my dad and classic rock and, um, you know, my dad played the drums and I, I just kind of grew up with music and learning little bits about music and stuff. So I kind of had this, I was, I was I was really obsessed. And then when I got on, caught music for my own, once I hit like the, you know, once I heard Jimmy Eat World and At The Drive-In and, um, you know, Get Up Kids and Deftones and all these certain bands at this, like late nineties, I guess. and. I was I just came really obsessed with with that and that was what I really wanted to do and I met um, Jeff and Brandon um, who Brandon's our former drummer and uh, it just it it seemed so possible it was bun we were all really talented really hungry really ready to go I think that um, as it's kind of as as it's happened and, and we've you know, we've toured around the world dozens of times and played so many shows and stuff. I just feel like, I feel like I've had enough, and I mean that in a good way. I've I've definitely enjoyed the ride. Um, it's really for me. It's not about selling out a place. It's not about anything at all anymore. It's just the process of making music. Um, I think we've enjoyed uh, conceptualizing the music more than we have wanting to tear people's heads off with it or whatever, you know, to try and take someone somewhere and let someone escape. And and ultimately, I think what brings us, why we still continue to do it and what I think, that, that might have changed, but what stayed the same is that we, we've learned that we've, we provide a way for people to escape and to enjoy their life for a minute, you know, um, so, or, I mean, and even in Ryan's position, you know, inspired Ryan to, to be able to translate something into photographs. I mean, that's really why, that's really come to be the forefront thing of why you know it's still important and um, but I just feel so grateful to have done everything that um, you know I, I'm just happy right where I am um, and I don't really know if that's an answer to no. the question <laughs> but it. yeah it's where we're growing is just so uh, it's just it changes you know two years ago it was we had problems and now we're getting through those problems and those are probably yeah, yeah you know so it just uh, a everything changes together, a lot yeah a lot of ups and downs and um, you know when it boils it down it's like we're out here and we're together to try and work it out you know in a sense I mean so what, we've been lucky to be yeah. able to do that but. Yeah. Um, what other sort of things do you do to sort of sharpen yourself as a musician? Like, do you do stuff outside of music? Um, other sort of passions that you have that are outlets for you? Uh, outside of music, yeah. I mean, I, I really just art in general, no matter what medium. I really, I'm, I'm a pretty big art lover. Um, I don't read as often as I used to. I really like, you know, f philosophy and um, I really like to listen to you know, alternative news and things like that. I mean, I wouldn't say necessarily call it a hobby, but I think that free thinking is really something I like to do. I like to conceptualize. I like to try and learn as much as I can. And I, I don't really know where I'm going to learn it from, but I really like to take the time to talk to people, listen to people more than I used to, um, listen harder than I used to, um, and uh, not judge as much. And so I, I think that I mean, my, my hobbies, and I'm really interested in almost everything. I mean, uh, 
I should reinforce that Quinn is amazing at like <laughs> inspiration ideas, like free thinking and conceptualizing. Like three times a day, we're just walking. Quinn's like, oh, what's that on the camera? I'm like, oh, the screen tilts. And then you're just like, what if? And I hate that I can't remember a specific one because you're even doing it this morning. And you just throw out this like completely far out there, but like it thought out that. idea. It was this, okay, we'll have some 3D glasses oh, yes. in the future, right? So why couldn't I just walk around the street and in Europe, maybe say somewhere and just go type in a date and then boom, I could watch the planes go over, drop the bomb, boom. I We're talking like history glasses. Oh, that like, you know, the like audio tours at museums that when the technology evolves, it's like visual tours. So it just oh, knows like where you are. And say, so you can see the old New York. You can talk to people in old New York. It projects like events happening that like happened where you are. <laughs> yeah. But just all that. Why not, right? Just see, so yeah. So, you know, that's, is that a hobby? I, I, I if someone's willing to pay me and I'll, I'll do, I, I'll call it a hobby, but for now it's just, I, I think I'm slightly going crazy. I mean, I really enjoy so many things like gardening, um, you know, hiking. Yeah. I love, I live in Utah, so that's kind of one thing I really, I guess I'd say I really love to do is be in the mountains and, um, a little bit of that yeah. on Utah. Yeah. So Quick wave to people. Hey. <clears throat> See you after the show. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, well, cool. I guess is there what what are you excited about right now? Um, I'm excited about. Um, I was gonna be sitting on the bus for a while, but outside of like that, you, you, you guys have released records before. That's always exciting. But just like sort of where you come, just what what has gotten you? I guess yeah, excited. Um. I, I, I get excited thinking about having children. <laughs> I love that. And, you know, I think growing more. I think I, I really get more excited about that than, um, you know, I guess than anything. I, 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 I just really, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm anxious to see where the next part of my life takes me. Um, and uh, I, I find I find this very exciting. I do. I think that it's almost surreal, and it's not it's not even fair. I can't even explain it. I'm like not even the guy that's supposed to be up there playing the guitar. I mean, I don't. I look like I should. I just don't feel like that. But I I know that what I've created has has put me here. It's just I uh, um, I don't know. I I'm just really excited to be able to uh, teach my kids how to play music and and, and learn and. Um, I have a stepson, and every day that I get to spend with him is really important to me, and that's really exciting, you know, to be uh, for him to 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 love me and and to uh, learn from me and to be a good example to him. And um, I don't know. So I think just being a good person and uh, you know seeing what could happen. I mean, I'd love to get more involved with other people out there and do cool projects and collaborate. And that's what really excites me is you know. Whatever that is, I don't know yet. So, and and looking at more kids. Yeah, I want to have you know just settle down, and and settle down. But I can always kind of be like, yeah, you know, I, I, let's go, let's rock, let's go play a show, let's have fun. I don't feel like I'm going to be this boring guy. I, I feel like I'll be, you know, the uh, the um, the instigator for. Yeah for everyone to break the rules like yeah jump over the fireworks you might get burned but do it go jump in the river go ahead i'll get you out i'll save you you know so yeah we need to be more dads like you out there so that's good yeah i i would hope so i hope there are many yeah like that yeah well thanks so much for your time um super good to meet you yeah, absolutely you too, ryan oh Right. I just love this guy. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, cool. And then have a good show tonight. Thank Hopefully, you. Yeah. Uh, record release. Revolution. Revolution. Good.